Glamour spray versus the San Hey Lace Frontal Spray versus got to be. Which one is better? Let's find out. I'll be comparing the sprays based on number one, the white residue or lack thereof, viscosity, so how fast it runs or drips, the hold, and how fast it dries it down. The spray that wins each round or criteria will get three points, two points, and one point will be given to the runner up and last place, respectively. At the end, I'll tally up the results to crown the winner. So, when it comes to viscosity, I know that each product will run. I just want to see how thick it is and how long does it take to run and when it does run is it dripping very fast so that's what i'm trying to check i'll also be checking at the same time how long it takes to dry down so i will not be using any blow dryer i'll just be air drying it and seeing how long it takes to air dry so this is the first spray which is the era rl spray so let's just wait and see how long it takes to dry It took 2 minutes and 38 seconds. Let's move on to the lace frontal spray and let's check out its viscosity, how runny it is and then get into how long it takes to dry down. So this one is taking a while to drip just like the RL spray. So looking at these two, I think it's going to be a draw between them. It, it is taking a while for it to, to start to drip. While we're waiting for that, let's just check how long it takes for it to dry down. It took 3 minutes and 26 seconds for this one to dry. So in between each spray, I do go in with water to remove any residue on my hand just to give each spray a fair chance. Okay, let's see how got to be responds. I'm starting the clock to see how long it dries down. But while we're waiting for it to dry down, can you see from me pressing the stopwatch to showing you what's on my hand, it really has started to drip. It's going past my hand. With the other two sprays, it wasn't even going past my hand. And it, it moves very quickly. So I feel like this one will definitely only get one point in terms of viscosity. But let's see what happens in terms of how long it takes to dry down. This, it, it will be interesting to see how long it takes to dry down compared to the, to the other two sprays. Okay, so it got to be, it took 3 minutes and 31 seconds to dry down. Let's uh, get into the hold as well as any white residue. So I have strips of this lace on my hand and I'm just spraying enough to cover the lace and I'm leaving a bit on the sides so that it's easy to tug on when I'm testing the hold. So I started off with RL, then the Sanhe and then I'm finishing it off with got to be. Also I let it air dry, no blow dryer, nothing and this is how it looks after. So let's see the hold. RL spray is really difficult. I'm tugging, I'm tugging, I'm pulling. So the Glamour spray or RL spray really does have a strong hold. Let's get into the sand here and see what happens. It, this one was easy to get off. Like I didn't really need to tug. Got to be, there's a bit of a struggle but not as much as RL. This is how the white residue looks. When we tally up the results, 11 points go to Glamour Hair. The Sand Hair Spray and Got To Be are tied at 6 points. The Sand Hair Lace Adhesive Spray is a strong container and that is why you need to watch this video here to see the flawless result you can achieve using it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!